Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs based out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Thanks for joining us today. Do you remember the 1977 Corvette that we put brand new seats in it? We took the old seats out, put in C4 seats, fourth generation into third generation. A lot more comfortable, updated, nice bugs. <laughs> anyway, long and short, we're taking this Corvette to the next level. The owner of the Corvette, Mark, wants it to be the best 1977 Corvette on the planet for its appearance. So we're gonna bring it back to exactly what it looked like the day it came out of the factory, plus a little bit more. Gonna smooth out some of the fiberglass flaws that are in all Corvettes from the factory. The motor, we're gonna pull it, gonna take it from the low horsepower that it had in the mid 70s because of the oil embargo, if you remember that, we're gonna put some 350 to 425 horse somewhere in there is where we're gonna land. So it should have a lot more get up and go. Right now it's actually way under 300 horse. Mark bought a Lexon top for it. It's a one piece top versus two. This actually gave him an, another inch, inch and a half of headroom. So that was nice and it brings in a lot more light into the uh, passenger compartment. Now on the back, many of these Corvettes had the luggage racks. Mark wants to get rid of everything that even mentions luggage rack. So all the holes that were in here, he had them covered up with some, uh, just some plugs that actually worked pretty nice. So we're gonna have to grind out the fiberglass in there and put in brand new fiberglass, angel hair, gel it in, and then the deck back here will be done. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this back to better than the day it was new, out here, door jams, and under the engine bay. So here it is on uh, Wednesday. We'll show you step-by-step step how we do things. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Day two, disassemble. We're rocking and rolling on it. Check it out. Front bumper's off, which I have been told by a special someone. You like taking the front bumper off, didn't you? It's amazing. <laughs> or was it a pain in the ass? Oh yes. It, there's some very small corners and these mitts don't want to fit in there. <laughs> awesome. Front bumper's off. Hood will be coming off later. Emblems are off. These are a bastard to get to, but we'll get to them. Door handles are off. Yes, there's a lot of tight spots. A lot of tight spots. Rear's off. Gas cap is off. It's still one of my favorite parts of the job. Gonna grind off each one of these, grind them down and fill them with angel hair glass. And then, of course, he's heading down the passenger side. So it's coming along. Disassembly is a necessary evil. Everything gets bagged and tagged so you know where it went, where it came from. So when it comes back to putting it back together, it is uh, not a mystery. Anyway, there's our 1977 Corvette. Coming along just fine. Day two underway.
the 1977 Corvette. We are just starting the paint removal process, trying something new today. Gonna try some soda blasting. So it's not glass, it's not sand, it's literally soda, baking soda. It is supposed to be harmless to the fiberglass or the neoprene bumpers. So we're just gonna do two small pieces, try it out. If it works the way we think it will, we're gonna do the whole entire car. It'll be much easier for the stripping process, much more cost effective. Let's check it out. Here's what we got. And of course, baking soda, it's totally inert, has no problems, environmentally safe. It was actually developed for the first time to strip down the Statue of Liberty, which as we know, it's a copper structure. It's really important to have a product that's not gonna hurt the metal, or in this case, the glass that's underneath, but it'll take the paint off. So that's what we're working with. We're gonna do the rear bumper. Actually, the day before we took it, he backed into something by accident. We have some stress cracks in the paint. So that's why we're gonna strip this the way we're looking. And then we're gonna do the headlight bezels, which are, they are a glass. See how it affects them. That was about 30 seconds. Paint came right off. I should have been taping for that. It just came off nice. This is actually the fiberglass. This is primer. And then of course this is the paint. We want to get it right down to fiberglass. It's nice and smooth. It did not affect the fiberglass at all. So this is exciting. This is something we're going to be able to do the car in. Awesome. Oh, heck yeah. So this was just a flat paint, no clear coat. So this is less durable than this. The clear coat makes it a little more hard to get off, huh? You're dripping. Engine has to pee. I'm excited about the engine builder. He can, he can get this back in, in a week. That's unbelievable. Well, good for him, good for us. Well, it's good for everybody and a two year warranty. How long has it been since something has been done to this engine? 1977. Yeah, probably had its spark plugs changed and stuff like that, but it was burning oil. In 100 miles, it would burn a half quart of oil. That's a lot. So, there you go. Awesome. So it's ready for him to pick up. Go back his truck up, drop it in. Get the bejeebers out of here.
What's that knocking noise? Uh-huh. Oh. That's a little bit of a knock in the engine. Yeah. Except there isn't one. Seventy-seven Corvette. We are in its final days. It is covered in plastic literally because we need to protect it from all dirt, all grease. We're polishing a 66, excuse me, a 69 Mustang over there. Customer brought it in to realign the doors on it. Got that done. We don't want to have any polishing compound come over and hit the Corvette. Um, we are doing the polishing of that car as a gift to that customer because he has some challenges and we just thought a nice surprise in his life right now would be a very much needed thing. So we're polishing that out, got this covered. Tomorrow the engine will arrive, so hopefully we'll be able to drop that in. And on Thursday, we should have everything else hooked up on the motor, transmission, all that good stuff. We're looking at next week, Monday or Tuesday, to get this into the paint booth. Coming along really, really well. Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs. Myself and the Legendary team would like to thank you for tuning in and watching the last episode. Please watch future ones. Remember, subscribe down below Appreciate each and every one of you for doing that. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Again, thank you. Till the next episode.